Hi gamers. My previous video was my Neo Geo MVS games, the arcade games, and this time I'm gonna be showing you my Neo Geo AES games, that's the home console. And like I said in my, in my previous video, uh, the games here are exactly the same, both on the arcade and on the home system. There are some uh, physical differences to the cartridges, but the games themselves are uh, bit by bit uh, exactly the same. So that was a huge selling point uh, that SNK, for, uh, SNK was aiming for when they introduced the home console version of the Neo Geo. But uh, sadly, <laughs> uh, the prices were so absurd back in the day that uh, it just never took off. But they really had no choice uh, in, the, in the prices the games were uh, so high quality, huge games uh, took a huge chunk of memory inside their cartridges and uh, I just don't see how they could have sold them any cheaper so it was doomed uh, to uh, become a cult favorite and uh, yeah the games uh, still are uh, the uh, most expensive games uh, on the secondary market, so they were ex expensive when they were new and even more expensive when they, when they are now old and collectible. I'd say that if if a Neo Geo AES game is under a hundred dollars it's considered to be yeah, affordable and under fifty dollars it's downright cheap, but there are plenty of even uh, uh, one thousand plus dollar games on the system and I, I do own even a couple of those but uh, I still don't have anything near the most expensive games which are several thousand dollars, even tens of thousands of dollars uh, what the most rare games command, so not gonna be getting those, uh, I don't think but in the meantime I am going to, I don't know, uh, slightly collect <laughs> all the, uh, slightly all, if, if that is a, a term I can use mm, the English version releases which, of course, like I said, the games are, are the same mm, on the arcade and the home version and also the Japanese and uh, Western releases are uh, the same inside the system itself decides what language you're playing at. So these are uh, the same games all around, it's just the uh, paper outside of the card that makes for the uh, English or Japanese release, but I'm going for the English uh, releases, and I'm going to be getting and try to get uh, all but the most expensive games. And uh, I got a bit of a start here, but still ways to go. But without further ado, let's get to these games that I have here for the Neo Geo AES. Three count bout. This is. A uh, wrestling game. Alpha Mission. Shooter. Vertical scrolling shooter. Then I talked about Art of Fighting 3 on my MVS video. I got here Art of Fighting 1 and Art of Fighting 2 here. 3 is uh, by far the superior game of the series, but the first two games do have some some cool ideas. Like I talked previously, these are, I don't know, try to be a bit more realistic. And the character sprites are huge on the screen there, a lot bigger than on regular or other fighting games. But I, what I do like about these games that was missing in the third game is that your character's face uh, gets uh, bloody and swollen uh, if you get uh, <laughs> your ass kicked. Mm, uh, that was something that was re removed from the third game, but it's, it's really cool to have that uh, degree of realism, is that if you get hit, you're gonna get a bloody face. So that's, that's pretty cool. The characters get uh, gradually <laughs> uglier as the bout continues. There are plenty of Sports games on the uh, Neo Geo as well. Here we have Baseball Stars Professional. And some very few platform games. Here we have Blues Journey. Of course, 
not really up to par uh, that anything that Nintendo has has done, but still nice, nice to have some variety to all the um, fighting and action games. Speaking of fighting games, basically the first and foremost that SNK put out, Fatal Fury, classic series. Also got here Fatal Fury 2 for the AES. Plus more games in, in that series to collect. Ghost Pilots, another shooter, vertically scrolling shooter. And then we get to the King of Fighters series. I got uh, 8 out of the 10 total that was released on the Neo Geo on the NVS, and I only got 2 here for the AES. But I'm going to be collecting all of them except uh, King of Fighters 2000 that didn't get uh, an official Euro, uh, English release. So I guess I'll, I'm going to be getting that as a Japanese, re Japanese release, or maybe skip it altogether on my AES collection. Here we have uh, two different kinds of cases. One is the older type of this, I don't know, flimsy vinyl plastic, and uh, this pretty um, delicate uh, tray that it gets cracked easily. So the games originally came in these, and uh, all the newer ones, I don't, I don't know, maybe from 2000 onwards or 1998 onwards. Oh, sorry, 1996 was the time that they changed into this uh, hard case, clamshell type of cases, which are, of course, vastly superior to the old ones. Uh, the King of Fighters 2002, here we have the so-called classic insert. There is the normal insert here underneath this that has the picture here on full size. But I, uh, they produced pretty late in the day for the Neo Geo SNK produced for the official English distributor, the Neo Store, six uh, of these different classic inserts to be added into some of their uh, the final releases that they made, King of Fighters 2002 being one of those. Uh, they did uh, King of Fighters 2001, 2002 and 2003, uh, Metal Slug 4 and 5 and Rage of the Dragons. I do have all of the uh, classic inserts waiting there in the cupboard. Uh, just waiting for me to get the rest of the games, but so far this is the only game that I have that uh, has the classic insert here. Pretty cool collectibles. Then Last Blade, one of the most beautiful games on the Neo Geo, and uh, again one of those really uh, excellent fighting games and different kind of fighting games. This time we are in the, I don't know, the feudal Japan or something like that, in 1863, and uh, all of the characters here carry uh, swords and other kinds of weapons. And uh, well, the uh, environments are, are like uh, pretty paintings, and uh, music is really top notch. This is uh, a work of art. The Last Blade 2 is even more gorgeous, but that's that's a bit more expensive game uh, that's still on my shopping list. But Last Blade is a, truly a classic Neo Geo game. Magician Lord, an action platforming adventure game. And uh, yeah, uh, all of these were released in arcades as well. There is not a, not a single game in the AES library that wasn't released in, uh, in the arcades, so there are no exclusive games. And all these platforming games were playable in the arcades as well. Not sure how popular they were back in the day, but I guess it was something different as the other, other manufacturers made action and fighting games. It's, it's nice to see that SNK 
did uh, something quite different as well. This is a pretty, pretty classic Neo Geo, Neo Geo game for sure. Then my true babies of my AES collection, uh, Metal Slug X. I talked about in my previous video how much I love love the Metal Slug series. Uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous shooter. Really great graphics and uh, fantastic sense of humor. I just love the action on, on Metal Slug. And, and of course, this is the US version. For those of you who know, this isn't isn't a cheap game or a, or a common game. That's for sure. And also, uh, probably the best in the series, Metal Slug 3. Again, the US version, which I'm really happy to have. These are really uh, some of my most prized possessions in all of my game collections, not just on the uh, AES collection. Really cool stuff. Here we have some of the special uh, slug vehicles, so the original metal slug tank is here. Also got a, a slug submarine or marine slug, slug flyer, slug ostrich and drill slug. So really crazy stuff. The third one is it's really bonkers. You have, you have giant eels here and crab people and uh, and also more importantly you have uh, different paths that you can take. So this some nice replayability to the third game in the series as well. Continuing on here on the table, NAM 1975. It's a, a side-scrolling uh, action game that you, uh, your character here is on the other side of the screen shooting upwards so it's part of that genre. Pretty nice early action game. The Neo Geo was released in 1990 and uh, that was one of the launch games, I believe. Then we have Sengoku and Sengoku 2 here as well. These are uh, side-scrolling beat-em-ups. But it's, it's funny how Capcom and Sega were really, really good at the genre, uh, you know, with Final Fight and Streets of Rage, stuff like that. But uh, no matter how good SNK were with their one-on-one -on -one fighting games, they really couldn't quite nail the scrolling beat-em-up genre. Zengoku, uh, there is also the, uh, a third game in the series that came in 2001, uh, but these two came uh, quite a bit earlier, but uh, these are the best of the genre on the, on the Neo Geo, but that's that's not saying all that much. It's really curious how SNK couldn't produce uh, stuff uh, of the same quality as, as Capcom in this, this genre. But still, uh, decent games. I rem remember playing Sengoku 2 as a kid in the arcades. And uh, yeah, I was all, uh, always wowed by the graphics. Uh, and uh, I was drooling over the screenshots in game magazines, but Neo Geo was too expensive. I couldn't really, really believe it uh, or, or get it. Uh, so I just, I just dreamt that I, I could have a Neo Geo. And well, <laughs> uh, some years later, I did. The next classic series, Samurai Showdown, also known in Japan as Samurai Spirits. Here we have the first game. And the second game. These are some of the best value for your money, especially the Samurai Shodan. It's uh, universally thought to have the best um, value for your bank, for your buck, the best uh, best quality for the least amount of uh, dollars. I don't know. This is like well, it's it's one of those less than fifty dollar games which is uh, a really good deal for a game of this magnitude. Really nice uh, uh, nice interaction in the uh, in the environments. You can, you know, slash, uh, slash bamboo, bamboo uh, forests and uh, uh, break uh, um, barrels, stuff like that. I love the backgrounds also. Everything is, uh, you know, here we have this, I don't know, it's uh, some kind of 
uh, flower field and here a forest and uh, uh, a battlefield and uh, by the seashore. Really, really nice, uh, nice uh, atmosphere to these games and lots of blood as well. There were a total of six games uh, to the Samurai Showdown series and here is the last of them and actually this was the uh, last game on the Neo Geo altogether. Samurai Showdown 5 Special. This was a, uh, a modified version of the Samurai Showdown 5 of course and uh, this was actually the, la uh, the only game, Neo Geo game, that I bought brand new. I bought it from the Neo store for $359. It stung quite a bit because I wasn't that big of a collector back then. But I'm really happy now because the price has seen, I don't know, uh, went up three times over or maybe quadrupled. So yeah, it was a, it was a nice, nice purchase for me. Uh, Neo Geo games tend to get quite high because there were only a few hundred of these made. So it's bound to uh, raise in value. Really, a really cool game. I, I just love the. Here we have every single mm, character from the entire series is playable here. So really, really uh, a nice fitting end to the Neo Geo. I'm gonna be uh, taking a look at the manual of this game in my one of my upcoming Tales from the Manual series. So stay tuned for that because. Uh, there are only, like I said, only a few hundred of them made in English language, so that's a pretty rare manual. And there's a, there's a, there's a bit of a twist to that tale so, uh, from the manual uh, video, so stay tuned for that. Next, a very weighted game, SVC Chaos, SNK vs. Capcom. Not to be confused with Capcom vs. SNK. Uh, that one was made by Capcom and SNK vs. Capcom was made by SNK. So uh, a very different type of game, even though the premise is the same. A uh, one-on-one -on -one fighting game with uh, uh, SNK and Capcom fighting game characters. Really, really cool stuff. It was a bit of a letdown, uh, I think. There were some... Um, uh, some troubles with the development of the game and uh, it, uh, it, it was a, a big letdown for some people who had waited for this game as the I don't know the savior of Neo Geo something like that but I, 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 I dig this it's a it's a really cool game to have on the Neo Geo and uh, yeah this uh, uh, these games came out very late in the uh, in the Neo Geo's lifetime well into the 2000s, so you know the PlayStation 2 for uh, PlayStation 2 was out when this game came out. So really, really cool stuff. A couple of more sports games. Not much to say about these. Super Sidekicks. Uh, look at that photorealistic cover. I love it. And Super Sidekicks 2. So a couple of soccer games. There are a total of four games to the Super Sidekicks series. The Super Spy, which is a really cool game because it's a, it's a, it's a first person game. Uh, it's a, a scrolling uh, scrolling game, you can't uh, dictate where you go. Uh, but, uh, well there you have your gun in front of you, like, like it's a first person shooter. So there's this nice Nice bit of a simulation here, like you're the, you're the super spy, and everything is uh, uh, viewed through your eyes. Top players golf, not nearly as good as the Neo Turf Masters I was talking about in my previous video. Yeah. And finally, last game for uh, AES I have here, Viewpoint. Uh, really a fantastic, uh, a different kind of shooter. It's uh, one of those few games like Zaxxon from Sega before it that's uh, an isometric view, so uh, not a horizontal or vertical sh uh, scrolling shooter, but a isometric uh, from corner to corner. 
and uh, gorgeous uh, pre-rendered graphics, nice animation and really funky music as well. This has uh, a really revered soundtrack on the Neo Geo. Really, really cool shooter from Sammy. And uh, that was my Neo Geo AES collection. But uh, I thought I, I'd uh, it's the best uh, video for me to show this as well. So I'm going to be uh, quickly going through my Neo Geo CD collection as well. The Neo Geo CD was uh, was an ill-fated console, but an, uh, SNK really had to try to bring down the production costs of the games and uh, bring something, something uh, for uh, something affordable to people as well. So they made up, uh, came up with the Neo Geo CD that had a pretty nice library of the same games that were available on the NVS and AES, but uh, and also had some some of their own games as well couple of exclusive exclusives but mainly it was the same games with uh, slightly poorer graphics slightly uh, better soundtrack because of the CD format and uh, hideous loading times it's it, it was crazy how many minutes uh, some of the bigger and uh, better looking games had to load just for a single fight uh, if it was a was a fighting game uh, so that's the the loading times really killed the console, but it's uh, it still a, uh, has a cult following like anything SNK has made. So here are my games for the Neo Geo CD. Fatal Fury 3, Real Bout, Fatal Fury, King of Fighters 94, 95, 96, and 97. Samurai Spirits 1, Samurai Spirits 2, and Samurai Spirits 3. And also I have a couple of those exclusives. I guess the main one here is Samurai Showdown or Samurai Spirits RPG. This really was a, a top-down 2D uh, Japanese RPG has lots of text and uh, you know, uh, turn-based fighting battle scenes and you level up and uh, all that, uh, that a good JRPG needed to have and uh, yeah, here it was, sadly it was never translated into English and the Neo Geo CD was also released in, in the US but this game wasn't localized sadly but it's still cool to have the Japanese version here Oshidasi Zintrik, a puzzle game that was exclu exclu exclusive to the Neo Geo CD and uh, still is, hasn't been ported to any other machine since then. A Neo Geo CD special entertainment CD-ROM, basically a collection of uh, uh, music, pictures, videos, stuff like that. A bit of a, like a demo CD. And this isn't Mm, an exclusive. Here we have Art of Fighting 3, but I wanted to show you this because this was the only special edition that was ever released for the Neo Geo. And uh, let's do an, uh, a small unboxing here. The game itself, and inside this cute little box here, we have some special material. Here we have Robert's coin. Metal coin that Robert always flips around, and we have a bunch of stickers. If they want to come out, there we go. And this little art book. So they were really ahead of their time because uh, an edition like this uh, would be commonplace these days from any many a game but back then it was really something something special so it was nice that the Neo Geo, Neo Geo CD had a bit of love at least in this form
And there you had all of my Neo Geo games. Uh, it's an ongoing process, the games aren't exactly cheap, so can't get too many of them uh, at any given year. But uh, I'm getting there, I'm really, really liking the collecting for the console. Yeah, it's something, like I said, it's something that I, I drooled over as a kid. If I, if I had told myself back then that uh, I would someday own uh, a Neo Geo and uh, this many games for it, let alone an arcade machine, I, I really wouldn't have believed it. Believed it. But uh, yeah, here it is. Really, really nice stuff. Really nice, nice part of my console collection. And uh, the Neo Geo is it's really a special machine. It is the longest officially supported console there is. Uh, it was it debuted at 1990, and uh, the last game, Samurai Showdown 5 Special, came out in 2004. So that's 14 years, uh, one year longer than even the PlayStation 2. But uh, yeah, PlayStation 2 sold like 155 million. Uh, consoles whereas the Neo Geo sold maybe 300,000 consoles so that's 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 really a uh, really a miracle that SNK keep, kept making these home console versions as well but that's bar partly because the arcade machines were pretty uh, popular in Japan still and it was uh, it was wasn't that big of a deal for them to produce these uh, home versions because the the games were exactly the same, but uh, it it really still it did uh, require some love for their pa fan base, and uh, and and they really really pulled through from 1990 to 2004. I just love the Neo Geo, simply for that reason. But there are many many other reasons as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.